By now we're all familiar with the person who has been dubbed Trigglypuff by the internet. Uh, this is the uh, very large young woman who was at the University of Massachusetts gathering called The Triggering, where Milo Yiannopoulos, Stephen Crowder, and others were complaining about social justice warriors and they were wanting to censor certain kinds of speech. Now, it's it, a very common thing to just claim social justice warriors are Nazis and they're trying to carry out all the censorship, big government, herder, etc., etc., which is, of course, usually complete nonsense. It's, it's just, you know, phony cries of censorship. Except, this time there really is one. And this is one of those things that I would normally consider to be a slippery slope fallacy if it wasn't actually happening. Now, the woman in the video who, that has now gone viral, her name uh, is, would be a Hampshire college student, Cora Siegel. Now, she has a friend, uh, Janine Chinkin, uh, she's a friend and a classmate who was also at the uh, Yiannopoulos event. Now, the person who took the video of her was a student journalist. And the woman uh, asserts that she was wrong to take the video because she did not consent to it. As a result, she sent uh, this letter out to the school itself over the issue. Yesterday, a video was published on YouTube and campus reform of my friend yelling at the panelist, Cassie Dillon, via campus reform and Twitter, has taken responsibility for filming and distributing the video without the consent of the individual who was pictured in it. See attached images. The video has received hundreds of thousands of views and has been shared by the panelists themselves and featured on the front page of campusreform.org. The video and the accompanying article are harassing, humiliating, libelous in nature, and the bullying is continuing to get worse the more it shared. Again, I stress we denied her request for an interview, did not speak with her beyond denying the interview, do not know we were being filmed, and certainly did not fill out any paperwork declaring any form of consent to be filmed or have that film published. Now, the, the student journalist asked to interview them and they refused to do so. That's fine, it's, it's your right to do so. See, the problem is they're now upset that the video of her has gone viral, and I'm, I'm sure she is receiving real genuine harassment. You see, the problem is they went to a public event that had cameras everywhere, including ones that, oh, you know, uh, Milo Yiannopoulos' people actually brought. So they know that the whole event was being recorded. So the fact that somebody in the audience with a cell phone camera recorded them shouldn't be a surprise at all. If you knowingly go to a public event that is being recorded, you can't complain that you're being recorded. Now, this is not an invasion of privacy because the individual in question went to that event with the specific purpose of gaining attention in order to give her message which runs counter to that of the people who set up the event. She wanted to say her piece encounter to them. So she not only went to a public event that she knew was being recorded, she deliberately called attention to herself in order to give out a specific message, but then is offended by the fact that it was recorded. You can't deliberately go to an event with the intent of protesting it and then get mad when it's recorded. Oh, this is not an invasion of privacy. This is just nonsense. The real problem here is the person in the video who's known as Trigglypuff did act in a very um, irrational and childish way. And as a result, she looks foolish on camera. That's what she's really upset about, that the fact that she acted this way and it was turned around and used to attack her. Obviously, she doesn't deserve to be harassed, her weight doesn't need to be attacked, etc. But you cannot complain about being recorded in public when you go to a public event and deliberately call attention to yourself in order to promote a, a certain ideology or viewpoint. That it quite literally makes no sense. And, and that's the real censorship here. They tried to get this person uh, disciplined by the school for having recorded it. For essentially really having done nothing wrong in recording. One may criticize the way she used the footage, you know, however, but the recording of the footage, period, was not a wrong that was committed. 
but because someone is upset that they look so foolish on camera, they are now trying to get that censored. And that's the real censorship that took place from SJWs. Because normally it's just a baseless accusation because someone disagrees with them. But that's a real attempt at censorship, and that's the kind of thing that should not be allowed. Thank you for watching. Want to go ahead, rate, comment, subscribe, and share on various social media. And if you want, you can head over to my Patreon page and show your support. Or you could head over to the MRN bookstore and check out some of the latest books available.